Hello and welcome back everyone to this business technology platform training with me Anubhav. In this series of videos, we are discussing on Whiteboard the cloud application programming model on Cloud Foundry. By far in this session series, we have seen how to set up our development environment for CAPM, how to initialize our basic project for CAPM. And in today's episode, I will show you an important difference between CDS and CDS DK. So what are all these dependencies as part of CAPM framework and why they are there are two different CDS and CDS DK stuff. So let's go ahead and understand the same. So in the last episode, if you have seen, we have initialized our project using CDS init command. Where is this CDS init command? And similarly, where is the whole CDS commands like CDS deploy, CDS watch, CDS login, CDS add, import, where are all these commands? These commands are part of CDS development kit. So CDS development kit is nothing but a dependency which you need to install at design time so that you can get the CDS command. So this development uh, dependency is named as SAP CDS DK development kit. Now you can use this development kit and this itself includes the CDS command. Why it is like this? Why, what is the main reason of being it separate from CDS? Because you would need this development kit only during development. A developer would need it only during development to basically utilize the CDS command line interface so that they can generate project, they can compile project, they can deploy project. But at the runtime when application is executing, your application is running in Cloud Foundry and your end user is using, you would not need the CDS DK development kit. You would rather need at the rate SAP CDS only. Now, what is the role of CDS then? The CDS is basically a module which is present in Node.js and this module is going to compile all your design time artifacts into runtime artifacts. So all your .cds file, depending on the definition, they will get compiled to SQL code or they will get compiled to JSON or perhaps to maybe a, a, a annotation uh, code in the OData service or an OData itself. So all this compilation will be taken care by the CDS itself, the CDS engine. It, that, that's not all, it also includes inside uh, the important common libraries or common uh, TypeScript files which we can reuse. So let us go ahead and see uh, how exactly this CDS, uh, SAP CDS dependency look like when it comes to real project. So you can see the moment I generated the project, I have got only the CDS uh, dependency added to my project. It doesn't include CDS DK, but CDS DK is already installed and it is required for you to do the development. So only during development, you would need the DK. So you can see here, uh, uh, we have Core Data Service DK, Core Data Service Development Kit, which is what is needed only during development. Then if I just go back to my project folder and run npm install command, system is going to install all the dependencies which are added over here, which means the system is now going to add a CDS dependency as part of my project in the node module. So when you expand this and you see SAP namespace and then you see the CDS which you have got here. Now it includes a um, lot of other dependencies and then of course <clears throat> you will see here different libraries related to CDS with, like for example query language, environment variables, uh, CDS core library. Then you have reusable types, CDS common. All of them are part of this CDS dependency. Yeah, so that you can leverage the concept of CDS and build your database artifact accordingly. Many times you would need standard fields like country or fields like uh, uh, admin information, changed by, created by, changed on, created on, or UUIDs, for example, to auto-generate primary keys. All of these are managed by the design and definition of this uh, common.cds which is also a CDS file, which is part of this CDS dependency, CDS module. So that's the main difference between CDS and CDS DK. So again, in a, in a nutshell, the CDS DK is the development kit, which you would need at design time. 
and CDS itself is required to compile and uh, compute your code and deploy your code so that you can run your code and all the design time artifacts can be converted into the runtime artifact and also the reusable CDS environment uh, files. So I hope you enjoyed this session, the difference between CDS and CDS DK in Capm. This gives you some clarity of what you need at design time and what you need at runtime. And with that, I'll sign off and we'll see you in the next video. For detailed training on Capm, please feel free to send us an email on contact at anubhavtrainings.com. See you and goodbye.